Azerbaijan, as you uh, know, has been a country which uh, has been uh, suffering from uh, occupation uh, of its territories in a blunt violation of uh, international law. Uh, territorial integrity of my country has been uh, violated. And uh, uh, there has been times when one person out of uh, eight uh, in a country has been either a refugee or internally displaced uh, person as a result uh, of that occupation. Uh, notwithstanding the four resolutions of UN Security uh, Council, uh, which demanded um, unconditional uh, withdrawal uh, of Armenian troops from territory of Azerbaijan, uh, these uh, have not been uh, enforced. And uh, notwithstanding all the efforts for over a quarter of the century by mediators, uh, including uh, France, uh, and uh, therefore, Azerbaijan uh, acting uh, in uh, line with international order and exercising its uh, right of self-defense uh, has restored territorial integrity. I also have to uh, underline that uh, our position for territorial integrity is consistent with international law uh, and uh, is applied to all uh, 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 disputes uh, which arise uh, in international law. Same is true with respect to our position to uh, one China uh, policy, as an example. Uh, uh, and yes, Azerbaijan stands um, uh, firmly on the basis of international law and uh, against any attempts to fuel new confrontation in the region, because we believe that it's a time for peace and uh, prosperity, and therefore unilateral uh, actions aimed at fueling revanchism and uh, especially after having a chance uh, to be a mediator, being unsuccessful mediator, uh, not a single square meter uh, of uh, occupied lands was uh, liberated as a result of the uh, uh, mediation being a Monday morning uh, quarterback. Uh, uh, we do not believe it's a constructive approach to the process.